Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft. And uh, today I was using my 240T and I decided I'd make a video on how I made this spoon with it and the struggles that I had with it and how I overcame them. So stay tuned. All right, so when it came to the 240T from Charade, the Charade Old Timer T 240T. Uh, when I first got it, I was super excited. And I started carving, I was gonna make this spoon. And I started carving and I was having a very difficult time because I'm used to my Mora double-sided uh, spoon knife. And when I would use this, I would hold the spoon by the handle and I would just dig it out, you know, I just dig it out and now it would make my bowl for the spoon. And so I was used to this. And, and then when it came to the old timer, the blade is on this side and it curves, right? So I can't do that with this one because the curve is the wrong way and the edge i could do it left-handed but i'm not good left-handed and even if i could the belly on this one is a lot bigger than this one and so this one was bottoming out it bottom out like right now it doesn't touch the bottom of the bowl here unless i angle it and find the right angle and so i was it was giving me a hard time and I was having trouble getting this to work. But once I decided, I thought that this hook knife was going to be the one that I used the most because it was so much similar to my Mora. And then I, this is what I'm used to. So I figured that's what I'd use on here. But once I decided to switch tools and I used the side gouge, this was the game changer here because now I'm able to have more control on where in this bowl I remove the material, okay? When I use this, my bowl was this wide and that deep because that's what my knife allowed and it worked and so that's what I did. But with this side gouge here and uh, how it's so small because it's just a little gouge with the edge on the side and it's at a 90, I can then, I use that, and I could, make, I could make this bowl long and skinny, I could make it really fat and round, I could make a big bowl out of it, you know? And it gave me the control, I wasn't scared of burning through, I wasn't scared of getting a hole all the way through it because I could feel where everything was. And so it, this was the game changer, and then once I decided to switch tools, I decided to try the front gouge. So it's curved, but it comes out the front. And when I used it with the handle and it's sticking up, it kind of felt like it was gonna bend. And so what I did is I just took my finger and I put it right where it curves up. I rested my finger there and that gave me a lot of control and I was able to remove a lot of material with this. And there's just, there's a lot of control with this blade. And they all came razor sharp. And so doing the work was easy because it was sharp. And then with the options that came with it, I was able to do things that I can't do with this because it's so big. And uh, since there's a blade on both sides, I got to be super super careful where this you know i could have my hand up way up here because the blade it was facing away from me where this the blade is always facing towards me and away from me so i got to be real careful and so this gave me a lot more control once i decided to use it as it was designed to be made instead of trying to use it like my mora i fell in love with it because not only does it work really well, but the options give me a lot more control and versatility in what I want to make 
Plus, I can't carry this in my pocket. It's gonna cut me. I used to have a, uh, I took nylon webbing and I made a little case for it, but it cut through the case over time and these corners kept snagging everything and cutting it up. Where this, I could have, I could have this in my pocket. I could EDC this. I could have it on me all day, every day and whittle on my lunch breaks or whenever. And so this really changed things for me. I'm very new to this. This is the only the second spoon I've ever made and that's all that I've carved. I told you in my first video that I'm really new to whittling and carving and I wanna get into it more. And I think this is what's gonna get me there. This is what's gonna give me the option of having it with me so that I can do that. When I'm out on a trail and I need to sit down and rest, I can sit down and I can whittle something where before I never had this with me, you know, it stayed here most of the time. And so even if I wanted to, I couldn't. Where now I'll always have it as an option because this fits right in my pocket. So I really like it. Once I stopped comparing it to this one and just reviewed this as itself and its different options, this, this, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, if you're really into carving and stuff, I know there's the uh, carving jack. This has all the tools that the carving jack has, but at half the price, this was $40 shipped. And so, and then on Amazon, uh, they're not available yet, but they're going to be $25 on Amazon. That's what it's at right now, but it's a month or two before they'll be available. I got mine from the Taylor brand website. So from charade themselves. And so, but $40, yeah, you can't beat that. This thing, like I said, it's going to make it so that I can whittle and perform a lot more. So that's the hat. Uh, I know I ramble. I know I go on. I just, when I like something, I like it and I can't stop talking about it or thinking about it. But anyways, if you could like and share my videos, that would really mean a lot to me. Also, don't forget to leave your knowledge and your questions in that comment section. I want to know what you whittle. Do you make spoons? Do you make little figurines? What do you carve when you, if you had something like this or something like this? What do you use to create things out of wood? Also, don't forget to subscribe and come join the pack. I'll have a new video every Sunday and Thursday, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.